In today's video, I'll show you how to fix the problem of your iPhone adapter or dongle not working when connected into your iPhone device right here. This is a very common problem that happens on many iPhone users and do not worry, I'll show you how to fix it in this video and this works on any iPhone model, whether you've got an iPhone 6, an iPhone 7, an iPhone 8, an iPhone 10, an iPhone 11, 12 or 13. It doesn't matter, it works on any iPhone. This is a problem that may appear in different ways on your phone. The very first way is by simply not working when you try to connect a lightning adapter into your charging port. And the second way is by getting this message which says this accessory may not be supported when you try connecting the lightning adapter into your iPhone device. So do not worry, the steps that I'll be showing you today do help you fixing both of the problems, even if it's the this accessory may not be supported message or if the lightning adapter simply doesn't work when you connect it into your iPhone device. Welcome to Fixed by Shaq and the concept of this YouTube channel is to help you solving tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, make sure you consider subscribing to the channel. So before we even get started with the tutorial, I wanted to let you guys know that you guys need to double check if your lightning adapter is still working properly. Well, my adapter is personally here a bit damaged, but do not worry, it still works perfectly fine on my device. So jumping straight into the tutorial, let's jump to the first step in here in order to help you fixing this problem. So the very first thing you need to double check is if you're not connected to any Bluetooth device, because sometimes you might be trying to connect your iPhone adapter, but at the same time, you might be connected to a different Bluetooth device and all the audio system of the mobile phone might be connected to a different Bluetooth device, which will consequently affect the dongle to not receive any audio signal in here. So make sure you're turned off when you're trying to use your iPhone adapter. The second thing I would recommend you guys to do is perform a quick restart before we go into the next steps in here of the process. So in order to restart your phone, it's very simple. If you have an iPhone 5, 6 or 7, all you need to do is just hold here the power button for a couple of seconds and then you're gonna be here on the slide to power off screen and all you need to do is just slide to power it off, okay? Now, if you have an iPhone X, an iPhone 11, an iPhone 12 or 13, in order to turn off your mobile phone, you need to hold the volume down button and press it along with the power button. So you need to hold both of the buttons for a few seconds and then you'll be brought into the slide to power off screen and you just need to slide it in order to power it off. After powering it off, just simply hold the power button in order to start the device once again. Just hold the power button until you see the Apple logo. Once you see the Apple logo, release the power button and wait until your phone boots up. Once your phone boots up, try connecting the adapter into your uh, charging port and connect the earphones into your adapter to see if your adapter is now working. If it's not working, do not worry, we're moving into the next step. On the next step, you first need to connect the lightning adapter into your iPhone device. Once that's done, you then need to connect earphones into the dongle adapter right here. Make sure you connect it properly and then you need to head into settings on your iPhone device. Once you're in settings, you need to scroll down and go straight into sounds and haptics. And then you need to tap here on headphone and safety and you'll be brought to this uh, screen right here. Next up, you need to tap here on lightning adapters and probably you might be seeing a message in here which says forget all lightning adapters. If you have that message, tap once on that message to forget and then try reconnecting the same lightning adapter. Now, if you don't have the option to forget the lightning adapters, it's okay. Do not worry, that's because you're running one of the latest versions of iOS which automatically forgets all the lightning adapters. So you do not need to perform this tap if you do not find any option in here just like I don't have any option in here because I'm also running one of the latest versions of iOS. So this is a step which will be useful for people who are running a previous version of iOS software. Next up, we're moving into the next 
And final step that normally helps you fixing the problem of your lightning adapter not connecting into your device. This is the step that I call the ultimate step and it's the step that in most cases helps you fixing the problem of your iPhone device not connecting to your lightning adapter. So in this last step you're gonna need a toothpick just like one of these right here and obviously your mobile phone. If you have any case attached to your mobile device just deattach it uh, real quick just like I'm doing right now to make sure that you don't have anything creating any trouble while performing this step right here. Make sure you turn off your device once again okay we need to make sure that we turn it off I've already explained you guys how to turn off your phone by holding the power button or if you have a newer phone like an iPhone X 11 or 12 hold the volume down along with the power button together in order to find a slide to power off a button. Once that's done you're gonna pick up one toothpick in here and grab the toothpick and try to put it inside the charging port and try to make this movement onto your left side in order to push it back to see if you remove lint from your charging port. This is the trick you need to remove as much lint as you can from your charging port. This is because normally our devices stay uh, exposed to a lot of dust which consequently then uh, turns into lint in here. So you need to perform this and apply a little bit of pressure in order to remove all the lint that you've got inside of your mobile phone device. This normally takes about five to 10 minutes. So you need to keep on performing this for a couple of minutes. And at the end, you'll also notice that you've got a lot of dust coming out from your device. I would recommend you guys performing this step on top of a white A4 paper so that you can actually see all the dust that is being removed from your iPhone device. So this is the step that you need to perform and then turn your phone back on and connect your lightning adapter into your device to see if it's now working. Now, if none of these steps help you fixing the issue, I believe that the issue might be on your lightning adapter and unfortunately you need to try replacing your lightning adapter. If replacing the lightning adapter doesn't help you fixing the problem, then most probably you might be having a board issue here on the audio board of your phone. So you need to take your phone into a service center in order to replace the board with a new board that works perfectly fine. I hope this video helped you in some way. If it really helped you, do like the video and leave a comment down below as it helps me in growing this channel and helping more people solving tech related issues from home. And also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one.